Violence is what happens when we don't know what else to do with our suffering. And that the work of the soul is to transform suffering into something life-giving. And I, I can give you a very grounded example of that. Most of us know what it means uh, for someone we love very much to die and to find ourselves plunged into deep suffering. And most of us know that as we take that journey of suffering, there's a constant wrestling that goes on within us. And we know in our own lives and in the lives of people close to us that it really is possible for a great loss to become an opening into a much larger life. That's the work of the soul. The, the example that touches me so deeply on the national level has to do with the weeks and maybe a couple of months following September 11th, 2001, and the huge, the huge wound, the huge um, suffering that went on in this country. Um, during those few weeks and a couple of months after that tragic event, people around the world were identifying with our suffering as Americans. People who had suffered a lot more than we do and continue to do so on an ongoing basis were saying, today I am an American. Uh, people whose suffering was caused, has been caused directly or indirectly by by our country, by our foreign policy, we're saying, today I am an American. A kind of world soul opened up for a while there. And, and we know, we know that it's in that kind of suffering that people make common cause with each other. We, we don't make common cause out of our strength and certainly not out of the arrogance of power. But we make common cause with others when we hurt in the same way and we can understand each other's hurt. So there was this great opening of the world soul, and then, of course, this nation state did what nation states do, which is to strike back, even if, even if it wasn't at the true source of our suffering. We just needed to strike back at something, and that's what we did. We now know that it, that, that was fueled by a tissue of lies about what the real sources and causes were, but that's not my point. My point is that had we been able to hold our tension longer in a way that kept inviting soulfulness onto the scene, we would have found a more life-giving way to respond to that suffering, one that did not blink the crime that had been done, one that did not pretend that hadn't happened, one that dealt fully with reality, but one that, that, that freed us from this addiction to violence, which now, seven years down the road, has simply multiplied, multiplied, multiplied geometrically, creating more suffering, more suffering, more suffering. We had an option, and we still have that option. We could still learn to be in this world in a more soulful way.